Hello and welcome to ET Auto. Indian tier ones are stepping up efforts in terms of building their uh, technology competence by making both organic and inorganic moves. Talking about inorganic moves, one uh, company, uh, the the uh, Sparkminder uh, Group, has made a recently made an inorganic move by uh, buying a stake, a major stake at uh, uh, Flash Electronics. To tell us more about the rationale behind it and generally for the organization, what are the te uh, technology uh, roadmap that they are pursuing to tap the uh, growing opportunities in the automotive landscape? I have with me Akash Minda, Executive Director of Spark Minda, and D. Suresh, who is a group CTO. Akash, tell us first of all, this announcement that we made of investment at, in Flash Electronics. What is the rationale behind it and how does it uh, kind of the gel with your overall strategy for your organization? So, hi, Suman. Um, as you know, you know Spark Minda has basically five verticals. Uh, vehicle access, driver information system, power electronics uh, in terms of ED, uh, die casting and electrical distribution system. So this uh, alliance that we have now created with uh, Flash Electronics, we are in the objective of creating the most powerful and the fastest EV power, uh, power platform for the complete industry. So while Minda Corporation brings in all the power electronics part of it when it comes to the EV, Flash Electronics brings in the powertrain uh, products in terms of the IC and EV. So that is the objective then how we can create a, a very big vertical. Going forward, uh, by end of this uh, financial year, uh, the overall EV revenue, which is in terms of Minda Corporation, will go up from 5% to about 10 to 12% of the overall revenue. Thanks to this move, is it? Yes, thanks to uh, uh, our investment in Flash Electronics. And of course, we'll get other locations the, the, the in organ. terms of uh, engineering uh, competency capability from other locations, which Suresh can, can explain. Okay, so, so Suresh, tell what does it translate to from the technology competence perspective? Subhintra, thanks for this uh, session. Uh, this is very important for us, you know, we set up a very strong R&D center in Pune and Bangalore. We are close to about 1000 people working in EV, power electronics, embedded software, hardware skills. Now adding to that EV drivetrain uh, competency is getting added. Indian automotive space is becoming more and more exciting. Uh, auto OEMs are becoming more and more tech savings now. And they are also looking for tier one customers, tier one partners to tie up with them. So we are, we want to be the one of the strongest partner for them. Okay. Now it comes to the EV of it. There are two or three pillars of the EV, uh, uh, EV power train. I would say one is the EV power electronics. Second is the drive train and the EDS, the electrical distribution systems and the connection systems. We already had a very, very good strength in EV power electronics, also electrical and distribution systems. There's nothing but the connectors, uh, high voltage connectors, charging and sockets and so on. Now, with the addition of the motor and motor controller portfolio, along with the VCU, the vehicle control unit, this adds synergies to it and also pro provides us the required competencies. Because nowadays what happens, the customers are looking at more and more integration the, the standalone devices are becoming uh, integrated devices. So now we are already started working on integrated devices. Now with the drivetrain competency, which is motor on motor controller, we would be able to offer a better solution for the customer, technically more advanced, but at the same time keeping the cost point of view because Indian customers are more looking for an affordable solution. And we, we are looking forward for that to give a win-win for customers and us. While it enhances your technical competence, but uh, does it make you at par with some of the uh, uh, global competitors also? Because the EV pie is something which everyone is looking at. India is one of the markets there. So, see, Flash Electronics has made a very good name for themselves when it comes to the uh, ignition-related and EV, drive-related mm. products. Right. So they are one of the only companies in India you know, which has backward integrated all of this in terms of the metallics division as well. Going forward, you know, coming from the large, uh, the top three EV manufacturers uh, in, in India, they are the, the, one of the largest suppliers in terms of the motor, motor controllers, vehicle control units. So the entire objective is to create a complete system solutions offering, you know, from the two-wheeler, three-wheeler, uh, small commercial vehicle and other, uh, you know, customers, so to say. That is the synergy and the objective that uh, we all would like to you know, move forward. And while EV is the fastest growing segment, we would like to be on this journey in order to grow and create value for everyone. So, well, one is the EV pillar. The other, you know, like the access control. I mean, uh, you know, Minda Corp has come a long way from uh, the maker of physical lock and key uh, uh, to now you know, electronic okay, access, yes. uh, complete vehicle access. So, uh, 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 that part of the pillar, uh, uh, how, how big is it for, from a contribution to your overall revenue and how do you see it progressing? 
So a vehicle access division is about 25% portfolio of Minda Corporation Civil. It is expected to be in the similar range because when we are adding more and more products from the four-wheeler side as well as the two-wheeler perspective and now moving on to the, the commercial vehicles because of safety and other reasons, it is going to be in the similar range while the entire pie uh, grows forward. So we invested a lot in our technical center in terms of the vehicle access related products like you can see, you know, seamless access, seamless closure. A lot of closure related products come, coming with our joint venture partners also is integrated in all of this. That is something which is, of you know, we are very excited. The second vertical is the, the cockpit electronics, where, you know, we've been pioneers in terms of the instrument cluster for typical speedometers. And now moving forward, you know, like you can see, all the three and four screens are going to come uh, forward in all the cars and commercial vehicles going forward. So complete electronics, which is giving information to a driver in terms of the safety and all, is something that, that we are riding on, which is coming through our investments in our technical uh, center, as well as further investments. How much did, uh, did investment went into setting up this, uh, the tech center? So, uh, I will not be able to share the numbers per se, but uh, until from now onwards, and I mean from 2023 onwards, we're spending about 3 to 4 percent of our top line into RD and continuously growing in terms of this year as well as going forward because we would, the objective is to create localized design, indigenized solution for our customers in India. Okay. So, with that uh, objective, we continuously invest in our competency, capabilities, and capacities with respect to the products and technologies. Uh, we have a very sir, strong software development to add on. Yeah, to that, that's what in the SDP era, yeah. so that's what I was coming to. Yeah. The software engineering, yeah. uh, how big is it, uh, the team are you building? So, what overall, are the we have about 1,000 engineers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a center in Pune, which is one of the hub of the innovations. Additionally, we have a family road center. And, and also, we have a customer engineering location in Chennai and Noida. Overall, we are about 1,000. In that 1,000, if I look at software, which includes the hardware near software, uh, base software, and also application software, including the HMI, almost about 350 engineers. Right. So, we have one of the very strong software capability because you rightly said SDBs are coming in the future. And SDB is also giving us a lots of opportunity in terms of system integration. For example, lots and lots of ECUs today, this get integrated together as a journal and domain controller. Right. So this, this is the space we want to also see invest for the future as well. Lastly, uh, Akash, last year, uh, if I'm not wrong, you closed at about 4,800 uh, 4, or so. Uh, what's, the, what's the vision for 2030? So organically, we would like to grow 1.5 times the industry. Uh, at a group level, we are looking at about $3 billion by, by 2030. Uh, that is our objective. And uh, of course, this is going to be the part of organic and inorganic. So recently about Flash Electronics, we moved forward in terms of inorganic. But the objective is how we can grow you know, 1.5 times uh, to 2 times the market in order to achieve this. And we are well in place to achieve this organically. So which means more inorganic moves also in the pipeline? Of course, we are entrepreneurs and Minda Corporation is doing well. So we continuously look for opportunities on how we can engage and grow with our partners. And again, the future is all about partnerships and collaborations. Indeed. And, and adding to that what Akash said, I think one is inorganic. I think we need a strong and a global network. You know, So with this acquisition, we also have a tech center in Poland. And there are people coming with a strong EV background. So we will also look at it, how we can uh, encapsulate that and bring it more and more to India and also to the global. Okay, that gives a, a good flavor of how uh, the, the uh, ambitions of Indian tier ones are growing and of which Minda Corp is a, also a good example. On that note, Akash, wishing you, you and the team all the very best. Thanks, thank Suresh, too. Thank you. Yeah, there you heard uh, the top uh, leadership uh, team members sharing the uh, rationale about uh, behind investing, uh, making the inorganic move involving flash electronics and in the in the uh, and the uh, vision for 2030 for Minda Corp. On that note, thanks for watching this interview. Take care. Goodbye.